All right, guys, doing a Montana trip. Um, we're so Asian. <laughs> um, headed to Josh Smith's right now at Montana Knife Company. He paid me off in knives so I would go do a podcast with him. Just kidding, he didn't pay me off. So I'm road tripping in my Corvette because my Land Cruiser is broke. The engine blew. You guys should know that. I don't know why you should know that, but you should know that. I also am getting better at filming with a cell phone because I'm lazy. I don't feel like taking out the SD card and uploading it on Country Bumpkin uh, satellite where it takes a five minute video a week to upload. So I thought I'd take you on a ride for living this vlog life, but yeah. So here we go. Yeah, it's probably irresponsible to drive with a phone in my hand, but it's really just John Park by media guys behind me holding the camera. See, two hands. One right here, and one right here. All right, guys, just showed up. Um, obviously got the, um, the vet girlfriend. Um, headed into the shop, so let me turn you around and show you what got Josh has going on here. Josh Smith. Hey guys. Hola, give me a handshake. Welcome to Montana Knife Company. Yeah, this is awesome, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we got a few mosquitoes out here in the Montana spring weather. So we're outside of Missoula? Yeah, out here in Frenchtown. Frenchtown. Yeah, we're standing on our, 3D, our little 3D archery course here. The employees shoot bows down through here on their lunch break. And uh, this is also my home property, so it's kind of small business, small town business stuff here. So awesome, man. It's beautiful out here. This is the new shop? This is the new building. So come on in. Holy crap. So this is the uh, employee break room here. Uh, we got elk meat in the freezer. They can take home anytime they want. Uh, full kitchen for them, bathroom, uh, vending machine, lockers, all that. Hopefully make them feel uh, comfortable and at home at work. Yeah. And this we, just went up, right, Josh? Yeah, we yeah. just built this last year. We moved in here around uh, January 1st. And this is where the magic happens. Yeah, and this is the uh, assembly side here. And uh, we do all the packaging, fulfillment kind of on this side over here. And then this grinding room in here. Can't fit that in pocket. I'll take that later. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta check your pockets. I know, right? Grinders, bead blasters, buffing. Kind of the the dirty room in here. Our dust collection does a pretty good job of sucking everything out of here. But that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> this is really cool. So it's super clean. Like I had somebody who said, um, "Oh, Philcraft knives. You only sell like seven. And oh, that's yeah. why they sell out so fast. Yeah, right. It's like, yeah, that's not how this works. That's not how it works. So how big is this shop compared to the last shop? And so where was that last the shop? The last shop was just that two-car garage right over there. So really? We'll take you in there. It was, uh, we moved in out of there, uh, like I say, in January. Wow. We weren't into the grinding room until February. Amazing. So we were literally working in that little shop that you just walked by. I remember you sent me pictures of this place and it was a dirt floor. How long did it take to actually build this? Yeah, I, I, I broke ground on this uh, last April. We started building in May. And uh, like I say, we wrapped it up this winter. So yeah, it's a hell of a lot bigger. Uh, I think five of my shops would fit just in this room. So The MKC vision, from first blood to last bite, our vision is to create working knives for working people. I love that. Yeah, and we got the... Uh, CNC machines going in here. We, we're going to be ordering some more. We're going to just be stacking them in here. Hopefully this place will be jam-packed in a year. So the idea is just to have machinery here. The idea is to grow out of this building as fast as possible. Really? Yep. And then you maybe turn this into distribution? Or... Yeah, we could or corporate offices or distribution. Um, yeah. So... Uh, we laser all the blades in there. We parkerize all the blades over in this room. We make all our uh, Kydex sheets in this area here. Yeah. 
And then upstairs, we'll take you upstairs and kind of show you the fulfillment area for all the merchandise and all that where my wife works. So, so completely a family business, right? I mean, this is like... Yeah, yeah my daughter's working here during the summer on uh, her summer vacation from college. My high school daughter will be in here, and then we have about 21 other employees. Wow. So, yeah. That's on. a fast scale, right? Because you guys were really small. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Last Christmas, not this one six months ago, but a year and a half ago, we took two employees to Christmas dinner. So <laughs> oh my God. Uh, the, the next year we, you know, we had 12 or 15 employees and now we're over 20. What do you think the secret is to the scale and the uh, speed in which you scaled? I think people are just supporting an American made company. I think people are tired of buying shit from overseas. And, uh, Honestly, everybody's just gotten kind of like wind in our sails and embraced it and supported it. So yeah, and there's no compromise for you on that, huh? No, none. That I don't say never too often, but that's that's one of them. Uh, this is our merchandise area and customer service where my wife works in here. Put this light on. So she fulfills all shirt hat orders. Your wife fulfills all the orders. She does. Yep. Wow. And then she works in here, and then she does all customer service emails. So if you email us. She's answering all the all the messages. Gotta get some of the stickers before I leave. At least he'll give me stickers for free. Jeez. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, really cool. Is this you guys? Yeah. Yeah, Tactic Calories does it for us. We got two different seasons. That's a spicy salt, and we got a steak season. Big little steak. Really cool. And then you guys' swag is really popular. Um, what's the key? Who's the guy who designs this stuff? Because this your your designs are amazing. Yeah, Brandon, my business partner, is phenomenal on the marketing side, the design side, you know, the banners, the stickers. We got a couple graphic designers that are awesome. We use a couple different guys. Um, yeah, phenomenal. They just do a phenomenal job on the design because I can't draw a stick figure. <laughs> and you have a what's the special shirt? There's like a a blood thing. Talk about yeah, that. Yeah, Blood Brothers. So. Um, Where's my wife put it in here? Where'd it go? I can't even find it in here. Um, my wife, you can tell my wife works in here and I don't. Let me find it. I need to steal some of this stuff. So this is a Blood Brothers hoodie. And if you cut yourself with one of our knives, if you cut yourself or if you use your knife on an animal, you're successful. You message us, we give you a special code, discount code. Oh, really cool. And you get that Blood Brothers. And we change the Blood Brothers logo each year. So these are only for 2023. And then if you see somebody wearing a Blood Brothers shirt, <laughs> you knew they cut the shit out of themselves or they used it in the field. <laughs> there should be an asterisk for like somebody who cut themselves or something. Yeah. Some little differentiation. Maybe a, like a dunce hat. Yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah. When, how did, what gave you the idea to start something like that? Uh, we didn't want people to sue us when they cut themselves, so we made it a club. <laughs> <laughs> and it literally saved us, and this is no bullshit, saved us money on our insurance. Our really? Insurance company Doing that actually saved you? It saved us, literally. Told us when that we signed up for insurance. That's amazing. They love the idea because it, it's a rite of passage. It's not a problem anymore. It's a club. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. That's really a true cool. story. This guy's so cute. Oh my God, he's so cute. All right, we're going to go... Oh, what? Who's this? That's Pixie. I feel like she's going to bite me. She's half... No, she's just not sure, but she she's totally friendly. Okay. She's half corgi, half border collie. Um, on the knives real quick, what's the most popular knife still? Um, I'd say our Speed Goat or Blackfoot, just the original. And then the one... And the reason I say that is because... Uh, we've had we have had more of those. The problem that we had with the field craft is we didn't make enough of them. So the fastest ever sellout are our field craft knives. Really, one hundred percent. Awesome. Do you have some here so I can show the guys? We'll do it after. But um, um, yeah, either downstairs. Actually, Jess might have a couple in here. Okay, but we can do that. Okay, so yeah. we'll go to the podcast studio. Right so now. we uh, we'll dump a pallet up on the floor up here yeah. uh, at Christmas. The entire basement of my house was all full of merch. The downstairs bedroom where you're going to stay, all full of merch. And so we have to haul every single box downstairs. So now we slide this door open. We can take a forklift and set merch pallets here. And then when we fulfill, like tomorrow morning, she'll load bags and pallet them right out this big door. 
Um, but before we had to haul them all out of our basement, literally at Christmas, just this last year. It's so awesome, man. So, so cool to see that, that growth and scale uh, offices in here. And then this is the podcast studio and also my office. How many podcasts do you have right now that are done? Probably 25, 20, 25. Okay. I'll put that link down new. below as well, guys. So you guys can yeah. listen to our podcast. Um, beautiful studio. Yeah, we're getting there. We're learning kind of with every podcast, so. And then, yeah, this is, uh, I actually have a picture today. I wasn't in here when we had a giant torrential rainstorm blow out of the east today, and I had this window wide open, and I have a photo. My desk was entirely covered, including my computer and water, and the screens on my, it was blown in so hard, my screens were covered. Oh it was a freaking. I drove through that in the Corvette, and it was in not here. cool. Let me get a cool picture of this view. This is the uh, tree stand up here. I can shoot shit right out of my window. Wow, look at this, man. So pretty. Montana Knife Company. This is a, I don't know if you can see it on your phone. This is my desk oh, wow. covered in water today. And look at my computer covered in water. That's so awesome. You just yeah. made $700 right there. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to do a podcast, and then I'll show you guys some knives after we're done. Awesome. All right, we just got finished with the podcast. It was a three, how many hours? Two and a half. Two and a half. Felt, like, felt like an hour and a half. It did. It did. We got wasted on Bud Light. That's what that's what the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, nothing but the best are hungry. Yeah. So we, we did that podcast. The links, we're, we'll put the links down for his podcast down below. When does that podcast drop? Uh, week and a half. Two we get half. Okay, two Mondays. Yeah. All right, let's go in and check out these knives. Andrew, where are we got those steel crafts? Oh, right here. Look at this. Oh, those are. Those Dude, this looks like cookies photos. on. Look how on. clean this is. We got to keep, keep it tight. Dude, these are like. Is this the, the QC process? This is the QC we process, got, we right? We're on down here. We got the Fieldcraft Baker's Rack. <laughs> so these are, yep. These are the Fieldcraft. They're Magna Cut. Survival Magna Cut. First time we've done that. So these are 600 of the knives, right? Was yeah. That? Yep. And so we have this extra little sacrificial tip. So if they look weird. That's to keep them straight and blade grind and heat. Can I pick one up? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. That's really cool. So we're getting ready to, at this point now, assemble with handles. And then they'll go in after handles and they'll grind off that sacrificial tip mm -hmm. one at a time. That's These are Fulcrest knives, right? Sharpen them. No, those are Blackfoots. Oh, these are Blackfoots. Yeah. So. Let's see. So what are the different models? This is a Blackfoot. That's a Blackfoot. That's the first knife we launched the company with. Okay. Uh, grew up on the Blackfoot River. And then we have Speed Goats. This is a Speed Goat? Nope, those are, these are all Blackfoots on this tray. This is my favorite handle by far. By you way. like the orange and black? I just like the, like the orange black stuff. Like I'm just into that now. But People I, love that because when you set it down, it's easy to find. Yes, especially on an elk. Like, like when you set it down and you're working another. Yep. That's a Speed Goat. Yep, and make it cut. Wow. So talk, talk to me about Magna Cut. What does that mean? So Magna Cut's a stainless steel. It's actually uh, newish to the knife world. Uh, we were one of the first companies to use it. It's about two years old now. Uh, it was developed by Laren Thomas. He's a PhD metallurgist. And uh, fun fact about that, his dad is Devin Thomas. I shared my first knife table with him at a knife show when I was 12 years old. Laren wasn't even born yet. Now Laren's born, and he's a PhD metallurgist that invented the steel for knife making. Wow. This, is this the most popular knife? This one right here, Speedgoat? Speedgoat, Blackfoot, I mean, both of them are, both of them are definitely. It's like, crazy how light this knife is. Yeah. One it's point, almost scary. It's like 1.5 1. ounces. It's like the weight of 550 cord mm -hmm. is the, what, what the weight yeah. is. Yeah. And this is the COO, right? Yeah. The new COO. Yep. Yeah. Andrew Oliver. So, um, you grew up in Ranger Regiment, huh? No, I was in uh, the 173rd, Ranger Qualified, uh, and then, you know, left the, uh, left the Army and joined Amazon, did a career with Amazon, and then jumped on board here with... Uh, 173rd is a good unit, man. Yeah. Did you do time. a lot of jumping in Italy? Uh, you know, it's funny is we had a lot of training, 
in a lot of deployments. And then it wasn't until we finally got out of that rotation, you know, during the GWAT that we started jumping again. So, yeah. But yeah. Were you an old 173rd guy or a newer one? I was relatively new. I mean, I did, uh, I did deployments at, uh, in, in OEF 10. So we still did the Kunar rotation in Nuristan and Nuristan. Ooh, I did a Kunar one. That was yeah. a fun one. Yeah. He's got some pretty pictures of Ukraine before it was all. Yep. Burned. Yep. Did some, when we started jumping again, we, uh, we did uh, a lot of training in Ukraine, jumped in with rapid trident. Surprise some with, farmers. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, the, uh, one of the famous pictures, you remember this, but it's like one of the jumps the 173rd did in and. Yeah. It's the young guy who's in the mud. Yeah, he's and wearing his, 100, and his head's, 120 pounds. Yeah, you know. his head's down on the yeah. ground. He's like yep. staring at the dirt. Yeah, that's a, a great picture, but that's cool, man. That's really cool. Yeah, um, cool. Yeah. So th this is the speed goat. Yep, speed goat. We got our uh, bear tooth knife here, big skinning, fleshing knife. Oh. Uh, Cole Kramer helped us develop that one. He uses on Cole Kramer bears <laughs> in Alaska. Cole's a piece, man. He needs Cole. to take me hunting. Cole Kramer. I like Cole. Yeah, uh, so how many night how many models of knives are you doing now? Uh geez, what do we have? Like eleven? Yeah. 11, about 12. eleven. And then we have a bunch of stuff for next year in development, brand new knives. Um we're working with some really cool people. Uh we're talking about doing another field craft survival um collab so that's going to be pretty cool the one that next i year. sent to you on a napkin yeah we need to work <laughs> on that a little bit <laughs> mike's artwork needs a little bit of, a little yeah. bit of hey man you told me to write on a napkin <laughs> you did. said you make magic from I the did. napkin no we're gonna make uh we're gonna make something really cool and so we've got a lot of big plans next year we're working on developing a folding knife uh working on maybe developing a tactical line of knives so we're just trying to kind of grow up and expand as a as a company but do it at a rate that we can actually sustain and make sure we don't screw it up yeah i'm most looking forward to the folding knife because i'm using other people's folders and i we we advocate for the folding knife the most because it's yeah. the utility mm -hmm. but also yeah. having the capability when you can pull it out and right. i think damn man everybody should carry i mean everybody should carry a knife period depending on what you're doing but having a folder knife for everyday use that's that's pretty cool yeah and it's amazing because like i've got this in my pocket and most people don't know it but this is our mini speed goat Whoa. This has become... Where did you just pull that out of? That was weird. Yeah, right out of my pocket right here. <laughs> okay, out of that pocket right, yeah. clip. Uh, this thing weighs about an ounce, and it's actually lighter than almost any pocket knife that you will open up. So you can actually carry this in your pocket. Uh, the great thing about it is when you pull it out, it's actually deployed and ready to go to work. Um, so this, we've actually been selling a ton of these. People are carrying these all over. I had a guy that just told me he castrated 500 calves with this on the ranch. The other okay. day. Wow. So, castrating calves all the way to cutting tips off of their If cigars, it's good for so. bull balls, then you know it's good, it's good enough for everything else. It fits inside the waistband, too. I carry it constantly, even in gym shorts. So it's always It's there. super flat with the paracord, so there's yeah. no thickness to it, really. You, like, you just never know you're carrying it. So it's a cool little knife in replacement for a folder until we have a folder. So That's awesome, man. Yeah. All right. Well, cool. Montana Knife Company. Appreciate you guys. Thanks, Thanks for coming, yeah. man. Yeah, Appreciate later. It.